The ending of Ben Affleck's Deep Water, explained Hulu's thriller, Deep Water, based on the book of the same name, is an intense mind game of what one husband does when he reaches the end of his rope with his unfaithful wife. Starring former real-life couple Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas as married couple Vic and Melinda, Deep Water, keeps you guessing the whole way through. What's actually interesting is that you're essentially handed the answer to, who done it? Early on, but the implications of what it all means are what will keep you up at night. Confused? Let's discuss. Vic and Melinda's relationship in, Deep Water, explained it's clear from the start in, Deep Water, that Vic and Melinda have an interesting relationship. They're married with a young child, but there's tension. The two go to a party, where Melinda immediately links up with a younger man named Joel, Brendan Miller, she's clearly romantic with. She and Joel make out in plain view of Vic and he acts like he's okay with it, so he's clearly aware of her extramarital affair. His friends aren't convinced he's okay with it, though. When Joel speaks to Vic, the younger man thanks him for allowing him to be friends with his wife. In response, Vic tells Joel about another friend of his wife named Martin who mysteriously went missing. Vic then drops the bomb that he killed this friend. Everyone takes it as a joke, but it's the first sign that maybe Vic did actually do it, and maybe he'll do it again. Is Vic really okay with Melinda's flings with other men in deep water? After Vic scares off Joel, Melinda takes up a new fling with Charlie, Jacob Elordi. He's a piano player at a cocktail bar, and she goes to him for lessons. Their relationship quickly becomes much more than that, and Vic finds out when Melinda's check for piano lessons bounces. It turns out Vic monitors all her finances and gives her an allowance, so when her bank account goes negative, he gets the phone call, not her. Melinda invites Charlie over to the house for a gathering with all the couple's friends, and she, once again, engages in romantic relations with him in front of everyone. Their friends all know what's going on and seem unsure of how to act around Vic and Melinda. It all goes to hell when Charlie turns up dead in the pool. The men all try to revive him, but it's too late. Now Melinda has the idea in her head that Vic somehow killed Charlie out of rage, spite, and jealousy. Did Vic kill Martin and Charlie in, deep water? It's left up for interpretation at first whether or not Vic killed Martin and Charlie, but it sure seems like he did. You see flashes of Vic drowning Charlie in the pool, but it's hard to say if those scenes are in Vic's head or if they're his actual memories. Melinda accuses Vic of killing Charlie, and Vic doesn't seem to care. She doesn't have a clear answer as to whether or not he's committing the crimes until she discovers Tony's wallet among Vic's things. Melinda decides she and her daughter are going to run but her daughter puts a stop to that idea by throwing her suitcase into their pool. Does Melinda like that Vic kills for her in, deep water? In the end, Vic returns home to find Melinda serenely waiting for him on the stairs. They look at each other for a moment before she tells him, I saw Tony. She then walks upstairs, seemingly letting him know that she knows Vic killed him and she's okay with it. Vic and Melinda's relationship was pretty toxic from the jump. They clearly weren't on the same page about her sleeping with other men, but it reached a whole new level of toxicity when Vic began killing for her. At one point, Vic asks Melinda if she's afraid of him, and she says no. She knows he's killing for her, which means he won't kill her.